Hello everyone. We're about to solve another application of nonlinear systems. The strategy for solving these is to find at least two formulas that relate to the problem. Here's the problem. A rectangle has an area of 36 square inches and a perimeter of 30 inches. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So we're going to be working with a rectangle with its length and with its width. All right, clearly we're going to be dealing with perimeter and area because that's the information we were given. The perimeter of a rectangle equals twice the, the length plus twice the width. And we're told that the perimeter is 30. So 30 equals 2L plus 2W. Now notice that each number is divisible by 2. So I am going to divide by 2 to make my number smaller. That will give us 15 equals L plus W. The other formula we're going to use is the formula for the area of a rectangle because that was the information we were given. L times W length times width equals area. So in this case, L times W is going to equal 36. Now come back over to the perimeter formula and we'll find that W equals 15 minus L. I'm going to substitute that value for the W in the, uh, in the area formula. So I'll have L times 15 minus L equals 36. Now I distribute 15L minus L squared equals 36. Using the zero principle, that gives me zero equals L squared minus 15L plus 36. Now this is very easy to factor, so I'm going to factor. If you don't want to factor, use the quadratic formula. But since I'm factoring, I'm going to set each factor equal to zero. That will give me L minus 3 equals zero and L minus 12 equals zero. Therefore L equals 3 and L equals 12. Two possibilities. We have to find out what the width is for each possibility. If L equals 3, then I'll use the area formula. Substitute 3 for L. I'll have 3 times W equals 36. So W equals 12. If L equals 12, then I'll say 12 W equals 36. So W equals 3. Clearly I have one choice of dimension. Dimensions, length and width. This will be 3 by 12. Talk to you later.